how Rob looks after his tools, look. It's so rusty. This is a panel, it's beautiful. Wait, <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> it's the pallet's gonna cause egg. That's He's left nasty. his gloves! Oh, forget your gloves. Ooh. Oh, you can't go in, you go. Is that it, yeah? That is it. Welcome back to Soul Fuel, we're at another job. On this one, we've got a full six kilowatt solar edge system going in, and that's gonna be paired with three Tesla Powerwall 2s. The supply for this one is behind this wall. So our uh, incoming supply is behind here, the consumer unit's behind here, and this is where the gateway's gonna go. The power walls are going the other side of the building. We're gonna have to come out here, go up into the loft space, shoot across, and then come back down. We're gonna use, because customers already got AC dotted about, so we're gonna use some of the AC trunking so it matches. So we can come out here, trunking up into the loft space and out the other side. This is where our supply is, so it comes in. Um, the DNO is gonna upgrade these to 25 mil towels. The plan is to try and squeeze the gateway in this space up here. It's gonna be quite tight. Then the cables out to the batteries, it's gonna come out of the gateway, across the top here and poke outside. So the other side of this wall is where we were at the start. And to save us having to try and run more cables to outside, we're gonna put some cement board across here uh, and mount the solar edge inverter in here because it, it does just fit, We've got a lot of room. So it just saves us taking more cables outside. So that's the plan, gateway here, solar edge inverter here. Away we go, away we go. We're up on the roof. The plan at the minute is we're gonna get 10 panels on this side. We're gonna get seven up here and then we're gonna get another couple sort of dotted around on these smaller aspects. Um, so hopefully it all goes well and get them mounted. Whilst Rob's cracking on indoors with the gateway. I'm out here, I'm gonna try and get the paddles mounted. So we've got three going in. There's one, there's two, and there's three. What we have to do is you have to check the model numbers before mounting. So we get two different measurements depending on what model we've got. So we are 711 to the middle of the fixing hole. So 711. Now I've got a solid wall here, so I don't necessarily have to worry about it sitting on the floor. About there. That's the middle of the fixing hole, so I'm gonna to wanna to go a little bit higher than that, because I'd rather fix into the brick than the mortar. So once you get the first two holes marked, I can fix it. And then what we do is we can drill, it's on the wall then, so we can then drill through the other holes, get the amount of fixes that we want. And uh, happy days. So we've mounted the brackets up. You can see I've put many fixings in. Might seem a little bit excessive, but better safe than sorry. The powers themselves weigh about 115 kilos each. Ready? Yeah, I didn't hear the Something click. Inside. There she goes. Three, two, one. <laughs> one, two, three. That's it, isn't it? It's all. I think mine's on. It just didn't yeah, I think she's on. We had a comment on one of our other videos the other day from a guy called Mark asking where we stand on the Tesla Give Energy debate, what side of the fence we're on. As an installer, I would definitely say the Tesla side. It's a bit smaller, just it looks the part. You know, size, discharge and charge rate, they're very, very similar. Backup, whole home backup. Great, both for the same thing. Tesla, when they say you can have more than one on a system, you can. Give Energy say online you can have more than one. Turns out you actually can't yet on that basis, which, so yeah, definitely at the minute on the Tesla side, Tesla for the win. Here we are, we're up on the roof, it's day two. A little bit wet, we've got teeth over here, mounting the brackets. Come and sort it out. Um, come and sort, sort it all out for us. <whistles> Look at you. I'll stake that. Take that back, get my money back. Take that back, I'll get my... I'll get my... Get my, my tonner back. Get my £2.50 back. Yeah, all adds up. So back in the cupboard from the other day, we have the gateway now mounted on the wall and we've started wiring in the tails to run the power through. Just to explain why there's so many cables, we've got 
a power supply for each of the three power walls. We've got a power supply for the solar inverter and a power supply for the solar meter. We've then got the incoming supply from the meter. We'll go through an 80 amp fuse in here and feed the gateway. The non-backed up supply will then come off of this terminal here and feed into this Henley block, which feeds the car charger. The home load is gonna come off so the backed up supply will feed our little fuse board here. And we'll also have another towel out into this fuse board here, which is the house supply. Jack, it's a bit wet, wet up here, mate. Don't want, to, uh, don't want your head getting too wet, mate. I've got my special shower cap. There you yeah. go. Special one for Jack. For... There you go. Oh, hey, ah, I'm so weird. That stopped, that stopped me. Uh... Dry as a bone now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> stopped me curls on the side. <laughs> well, thank you, mate. Oh, yeah, wow. look. There we go. We've had a few comments on some of our other videos about health and safety and about you know, even wearing a hard hat on a roof. I feel safe, so as an installer, I think that's the most important thing is I feel safe in what I'm doing. But if I was to fall on the roof, I'm not falling from the height of this roof down. I'm going to fall on the roof. Worst case, I'm going to slide down onto the scaffold where we've got side rails and whatnot. You wouldn't expect Beyonce to wear a hard hat on stage, even though a few of them have fallen off sometimes. This is our stage. This is where his art happens. So you won't see Beyonce wearing a hard hat. So I'm just re-evaluating your life. It's got a load of dirt in the cut as well. Thing's probably gonna fall off. Nice insurance claim on Jack. Lovely. I have to put my luscious locks away now. Sorry, fans. You've got no fans. Nice big solid concrete tiles. What we do with these, once our brackets mounted to the rafters, on the underside, we've got these little nibs here. We just grind them off, and then what happens is, when we slide them back in, it says, it fits nice and flush on the tile below, so we've got no gap underneath, but the bracket, it's not sat on the bracket, so it's not gonna crack or anything like that, so, pack a job. So, little update, this side now, brackets are on, rails are ready to go with the couplers, so they'll take five minutes to stick on. Over this side, so tiles are grinded out, so we're now just gonna put them back in, rail up on this side, and then it's panel time. Wallop, 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 wallop. Solid, that's me. Thank you very much. You look the part, bro. Ho, ho, ho. We're rolled up, so we're all good. We're ready for panels. Next step is panels. So time for a couple of foot longs. And yeah, get cracking. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, you f <laughs> <laughs> Camera crew is setting us, setting us back in tiles. All right, this, uh, this video is cost free. <laughs> <laughs> so just measuring off two strings worth of DC cable to get us from the inverter downstairs up to the roof. I've had a cadaver! <laughs> I'm a cadaver! They all call me Voldemort, didn't they? <laughs> so the cables we've got here, we've split into two strings, marked with tape, not marked with tape. We've also marked one of each pair so that we can get the polarity right and we don't blow up the inverter. The output of the panels means that voltage for each string will go above the maximum input voltage. So we've had to split it into two separate strings. So this is a solder edge optimizer. This is the little nifty bit of kit that allows the panels to work independently from each other. Also allows, allows us to monitor the panels on a panel by panel level. So these are the little, these are the gizmos that, you know, if there's a bit of shade on one, it won't affect the others. They're also the bit that makes solar edge kit so much safer because if there's any issues or whatnot, it drops the DC voltage down to one volt per panel. You know, you've got panels on the roof, inverter down the bottom. If there's a problem, the whole DC run remains at four or 500 volts, whatever the panels are putting out. Whereas with these, if there is a problem, it has a thing called safe DC. So it will shut sort of all the panels down, if you like, one volt per panel. So you're gonna have 20 volts perhaps down the string in the event of a fault. So once the optimizers are mounted to the rails, this is the layout of the property. This is the front, this is the back. These are the ones that are gonna go on as well at some point. So that, what we do now is we can scan each optimizer and that will place, or well, it puts the position for that optimizer on the roof. So in the future for maintenance, we know exactly what each panel is doing. If there's ever a problem, we know what panel the problem is at. So what we do is we select what panel it is. So I'm gonna start on this top. 
left hand corner. So we scan, he says, and then it goes to the next one. So now we move over to this one, then we go to the next one, and it's as quick as that. Robo, do us a favour, throw up some cable ties. You can film me getting in this loft, I've got a proper loft ladder. I don't know how to use it. Do you know how it works? How does the loft ladder work? <laughs> you have to lift it over the thing. Behind it, there's like a little silver bar. Yeah. You like kind of want to. Yeah, lift yeah. it over the bar. At least make sure you yeah. get through the hatch first, mate. You must have, you must have suck in. Tell him I'll fit through his mum's hatch. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the two strings that we pulled up from downstairs. One of the strings is going to be pulled out to this face of the roof. The other is going to be clipped across, and he's going to be poked out on the opposite side of the roof over there to feed those panels. Can you direct me to a bracket that I'm coming out at? Oh, I've got one. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. I can feel you. I feel the tip. Hang on, they're not taped together. Let me try and poke that with it. Perfect. So, cables are in, but what we'll do is we'll get a bit of Copex, a bit of flexible conduit, and just tube these up where it's under the tile just so the cables can't rub on that concrete, and there we go. Right, so the panels are all up and on, so that's all finished. Um, Rob's downstairs finishing off the inverter. So before I go and finish off the batteries, here's seven reasons why I love Solar Edge. Safety. In the event of a fault, the optimizer's dropped to one volt per panel, which I think will become a necessity in the future. Multiple faces. You can install panels on multiple faces. <laughs> because they work panel by panel, it means we can pinpoint any faults, saving any call out time higher efficiencies and the effects of shade on certain panels won't affect the rest. You can mix and match panels so when newer panels come out and it's hard to find a direct replacement for a potential faulty panel, you haven't got to worry. Oversizing of the inverter. If you're limited to a certain size inverter, you are able to oversize the inverter by up to 200%, which means you can fit more panels on, maximizing your generation. And finally, the whole system is super easy to install and commission. This is our Copex that comes from the other side. So this is taking our power comms and data into this box here. So in this box, we're gonna have our isolators for the batteries. And then what we've done is we've come out of this box in the same Copex. And what we've done underneath the batteries is run a bit of trunk in. It goes all underneath, that's to house our cables. And then for each one, we've got another conduit drop, or drop, or conduit up, I guess. Comes up into each power wall. While Jack's been up on the roof, I've been down here, I've fitted the gateway. I've fitted the meter towels. We've got the non-backed up load here. We've got the backup load, which is the house. We've got our solar edge meter in here with a CT clamp reading the import export. And in here, we have AC isolator and generation meter for the solar edge inverter. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're interested in getting solar, there'll be a link in the description below, and we'll see you on the next one. Got my shower cap on them dangerous, dangerous raindrops rolling on your head. That's it. Makes me quicker because it stops my hair getting wet and heavy. That's it. So it means I'm quicker, I'm more yeah, streamlined. Or streamlined. Less mass.